Excellencies, P.S. Patrick Mariru of um, Defense, the Vice Chief of Defense Forces, General Menda, the Commissioner General of the Kenya Prison Service, retired Brigadier John Warioba, Secretary for Probation and Aftercare Services, um, all the senior officers from the Kenya Defense Forces, Kenya Prison Service, other government officials present, the member of the National Assembly representing Roiro constituency, the Honorable Simon Kingara, who is here to represent the community that continues to host us at this facility. And everybody else that I have not mentioned feel appreciated, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted today to be part of this historic handover of the Margareza Hospital by the Kenya Defense Forces to the Kenya Prison Service. This hospital is one of the premier medical facilities that we continue to develop to assist our men and women in uniform as well as their families and other stakeholders including members of the public to get access to high standard and high quality medical services. It is important that I thank C.S. Duale, our Defense Minister, the Kenya Defense Forces Fraternity, for being so magnanimous in terms of supporting the construction of this facility on behalf of the Kenya Prison Service. The reason we made a decision as the Ministry of Interior to request our brothers and sisters from the Kenya Defense Forces to support us with the construction of this hospital and even going forward to support us as we operationalize this hospital together with the other hospital which we are going to be handing over, taking over today, that is the National Police Service Hospital in Bagadi. The reason we requested our brothers and sisters from the Kenya Defenses to support us in the Ministry of Interior, there are two reasons. The first is that the Kenya Defense Forces within the security sector has the longest history with running, management, and operationalization of health facilities. They have a long history, and therefore they have developed impeccable capabilities and capacity to be able to set up and run medical facilities. And because we are all one in the security sector, we found no reason why Kenya Prison Service or the National Police Service should go looking elsewhere. So we turned to our brothers and government decided that because this is a primarily a health facility for a security organization, it was the position of government, that the Kenya Defense Forces having a long experience in this uh, health and management of health institutions should do it on behalf of the other uh, organs of our national security. The second reason, of course, is because within the security sector, we are one unit, we are united. We have different mandates, but our common objective that puts us together is the security and stability of our nation. And therefore, the organs of internal security 
and our Kenya Defense Forces that are responsible for the defense of our nation. We have one common objective, and therefore we must always work together whenever there is an opportunity. And therefore we felt KDF, therefore, is the natural um, partner for Kenya Prison Service, and I'm very delighted at the very, very cordial, warm, and friendly uh, engagement that has taken place during the construction of this facility. I want to underscore on, the, on behalf of the Ministry of Interior and National Administration, we will continue to foster partnerships, friendships, and comradeship between ourselves and Kenya Defense Forces so that we build public trust and public confidence in the organs of our national security, that we are all working together. We have one purpose, one objective, one mission, which is to make our country safe and secure. And therefore, my brother C.S. Duale, Vice CDF and the other senior officials of KDF who are here, I want to assure you, on behalf of my colleagues, my peers here, Sally, and the other senior officials, including the Commissioner General of, of Kenya Prisons, that this relationship is not ending at this handover. It's, the relationship is not ending at this handing over. It will continue. We do have some capacity in terms of medical personnel, but we will need additional capacity. And our first point of call will be the Kenya Defense Forces before we look elsewhere. So we have directed, my brother and I, have directed that the two principal secretaries, P.S. Patrick and P.S. Salome, will work together, of course, with the, the rest of the team to make sure that the collaboration between KDF and Kenya Prison Service in the running of this hospital is concretized so that when we need specialist um, consultant doctors who are available by KD, within KDF, they should be able to support us. I want to underscore the need for us to maintain good standards. I have already directed PS Salome and the Commissioner General of Prisons to ensure that we do not compromise on the standards, the quality standards, including cleanliness that we have seen here. We have state-of-the-art equipment, medical equipment, uh, which is already in place, and we want to put in more equipment. And the building, the facilities look great. But in this country, we have a problem of maintenance of public institutions. There is something that we have not gotten right as a country. And that is how to manage public institutions and public facilities that are clean and of good quality. And if you are asked the difference between a public hospital and a private hospital, is only one. Cleanliness, standards, and maybe how we treat the people who come for services the culture, the, 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 our ability to, to, be, to present ourselves well. So we must work towards maintaining those standards. The facilities must remain in the quality they are in. It is easier to spend a little money every, month, every year to maintain the standards than to wait until the building and the facilities are dilapidated and we are trying to pump in money, lots of money, to bring them back to standard. So I really hope to, we will be able to uh, make a difference. And again, I have been to the facilities uh, run by our brothers in KDF, and I think we can model from them uh, and, 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 and benchmark and be able to do a good thing. Now, finally, is to uh, just uh, uh, say that uh, we have also agreed with my counterpart, uh, C.S. Edenduale, that we will be 
again, in our facilities, reaching out to the surrounding communities and general members of the public. So we are going to have some way where members of the public around here, even if it's on a referral uh, basis, can get some access to um, this facility. Because this facility is primarily for ourselves, but also we want to build good, um, a good rapport and trust with the surrounding uh, community. And that is going to be our policy even for the other institutions, including the National Police Service Hospital, which will be uh, also taking over today. So with those many remarks, I'm grateful. I want to thank everybody who has made this possible. The contractor has done a good job. And I think uh, I saw the contractor here. I think now she has uh, all the right to demand for payment of whatever is remaining of her money because the, the work looks like um, it has been done well. Of course, I want to thank those who supervised the, the works uh, from KDF, from Kenya Prison Service, and I want to wish you well, even as we go into the phase of making this hospital operational. Um, We'll be having perhaps another event in this hospital at a date to be announced uh, so that now we move to the next level. And I think um, uh, Minister Duale will be announcing that we hope that also we can have an even better hospital which serves the entire security system so that referrals from this hospital and other hospitals, including the KDF hospitals that are in various parts of the country can have one major referral hospital for men and women in uniform, all security formations, all security agencies. Again, to emphasize, we are one, we are bound and joined in the hip. Our mandates are different, but one common denominator is that all organs and agencies of national security whether internal security or defense of our nation exist to make sure that our country is safe and secure. I want to thank you, and now it's my pleasure to invite my brother, my friend, my colleague for many years, uh, the Honorable Eden Duale, Cabinet Secretary for Defense, to address us, and after we finish, uh, is addressed, that will be the end of today's ceremony. Thank you, and welcome, C.S. Duale. <clears throat> My colleague and friend, and a colleague at the National Security Council, Professor Kithure Kindiki, Principal Secretary, Dr. Susan, Principal Secretary, MOD, Patrick Mariro, the Vice Chief of Defense Forces, Lieutenant General John Omenda, the Commissioner General of Kenya Prison Service, retired, Brigadier retired, uh, John Warioba, General Officers present, including the Deputy Head of the KDF Health Sector, Brigadier Odiambo, the Chief of Infrastructure at Defense Headquarters, Brigadier Sokobe, Senior Officers, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning. And our Member of Parliament, Simon, a great man. I was his leader many years ago. Today marks a, a, a very important occasion as we gather to celebrate the handover of the Kenya Prison Service, Wanini, Kiriri Magereza Level 4 Hospital here in the heart of Kimbo County. First and foremost, I extend my heartful gratitude to the brave men and women of our security forces, particularly the Kenya Defense Forces and the Kenya Prison Service present here for their unwavering dedication and service to our nation. Your commitment not only to safeguard our borders, and upholding law and order, but also contributing to the socioeconomic growth of our country does not go unnoticed. We recognize and appreciate the sacrifice 
you make and the risk you face daily to protect human life, property, and uphold the rule of law. The establishment of this facility is a, is a testament to our government commitment in providing quality health care services to all its citizens, including those who serve in our national security agencies. This initiative is part of a broader health care program aimed at ensuring access to essential medical service. Our notable institutions under this program include the National Police Service Hospital along the Bagathi Way, which me and my brother, Minister Kindiki, will visit later today, and the Forces Referral and Research Hospital, which is under construction, level six, under construction uh, in Kabat, Kabete Barracks. And that is a hospital, the level six, that will become a regional referral hospital, not only for our security organs and our citizens, but for our regional partners and allies in the security sector. The construction of this hospital completed in a remarkable nine months, from October 2021 to June 2022, showcases our determination to provide the state-of-the-art health infrastructure. With a capacity of 150 beds, two major theaters, and critical care units such as accident and emergency, ICU and HDU, maternity and dental services, this facility is equipped to cater to the diverse health needs of our community and members of our security organs. Furthermore, I'm pleased to announce that the hospital is designed to be friendly to people with disability, encompassing accessible entrance, washrooms, circulation areas, ensuring there is inclusivity for all. In our journey towards progress, the importance of quality and affordable health care cannot be overstated. A healthy population is not only essential for individual well-being, but also for economic prosperity. The lessons we learned from our experiences, including the challenges posed by COVID-19 pandemic, underscores the need for robust welfare facilities to support our service personnel, their families and veterans, at a time when they are defending the safety and security of our citizens and making sure that our country is safe, secure, and stable. Indeed, the welfare and the morale of our security forces are paramount in enabling them to fulfill their duties effectively. At the defense headquarters and at the national security organ personnel, myself and Professor Kindiki, under the guidance of the chairman of the National Security Council, and the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, we are focused to make sure as our men and women spend a lot of their time in defending our country, in making sure the rule of law is maintained, our borders, both interior and outside our borders, are secure. We will make a deliberate effort to make sure that there is a robust housing program for their families and themselves. There is a robust health care for them and their families. And there is a good education system for their children. Those three provided by this administration, our officers, whether in interior or in deep operations, will have a focus on the enemy and making sure that as they defend their, our country, as they protect our country, their families, their children, access good health care, live in a decent housing, and they can go to good schools. In affirming our commitment to our, our uniformed personnel and their dependents, 
the government will continue to provide unwavering support, ensuring that investments are targeted and effective. It's imperative that we will prioritize the well-being of those who selflessly serve our nation. And I want to return to what Professor Kindiki has said. Those of us who have been given an opportunity to serve under this national security organ framework, we are comrades, we are partners, we are brothers and sisters. And we call upon all of you that we have one mandate provided in the Constitution to protect and defend our country and the citizens, and to provide security and stability for the social economic development of our country to be attained, and for institutions like the National Police Service and Kenya and that that the Kenya Prison Service falls under is to maintain that the rule of law is anchored among our citizens. So we want to ask each and every member of the security organs, the Kenya Defense Forces, the National Intelligence Service, and the National Police Service, those three organs, and the many, many other formations that are below them that at all times, let our focus be that of comradeship, be that of uniting our country, and defending the citizens and their property and the sovereignty and territorial integrity of our nation. And work together when we are called upon to offer civil duty during the times of disaster, during the time of floods, we will, call, will be called upon by the Constitution and by the command structure to come to the help of our citizens and our country. In conclusion, I would like to express my appreciation to my very, very colleague and brother, the Cabinet Secretary for Interior, for his invaluable collaboration in bringing this project to fruition. Please, we have regional and level four hospital of Kenya Defense Forces across our bases, from Isiolo to Eldoret to Mombasa to Manda Bay in Lamu to Mariakani to Kahawa here to our referral Moi Forces uh, 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 facility along Bagafi. We will at all time provide those, those facilities to all members of our national security agencies. And I want to commit, as my peers have said, on behalf of the Chief of Defense Forces and the whole KDF fraternity, that we will walk the journey with Kenya Prison Service and this hospital, that please at any given time, if you have a complication here, please talk to our uh, leadership at the KDF Health Services. We have a pool of experienced doctors and surgeons and consultants. Please, this will be an annex of the KDF facility. Anytime you can come and ask for any expertise that you require. You can come to Kenya Defense Forces Medical Training College, where you can train your nurses, your special, uh, specialist nurses. You can train your clinicians. And now we have begun a master's program in surgery, which your doctors, because they are part of the national security architecture, they can access. So we are only handing over but we will be partners, we will work together, we will work together, and as we agreed with the minister, the Commissioner General and the PS Correctional Services, the community is very important to us. In the event, 
in the unlikely event we have a critical patient from the community, please don't lock that patient out of this facility. Let that patient be brought. He is a citizen. He is part of our community. Let the community in a limited way also access uh, our facility. God bless you.